step number one. Remove the four push clips from the upper louvres. Once the four push fits have been removed, please pay attention to either side of the intercooler as a peel clip there. Release and give it a short, sharp pull. Remove louvre shroud. Remove crash bar guard, peel clips, done. Remove and save for refitting. Remove ambient air temperature sensor. In doing so, disconnect the wiring. Remove, rem remove the wiring with a trim removal tool. One. The next step will see us remove the lower intercooler shroud. This isn't held on in anything other than a push fit. It's a short, sharp pull and it will be removed. Next step is to remove the crash bar. This can be done by removing one 10 mil, two 10 mil, and one 15, two 15, three 15, and four. Repeat for both sides. Okay. And make sure we maneuver past the horn bracket, like so. Next, we will be working on removing and stripping the front crash panel. This panel will be the panel that we modify to, um, to allow the intercooler to fit in this gap here. First step is remove the crash radar to T30s. This will then lift up from the bottom and then unclip, slide it up. Like so. And follow the wiring, one, two clips and remove from panel. Once the radar has been removed, disconnect through its connection and use a trim removal tool to remove wiring clips all the way around along the panel until all the wiring is loose and able to pass through that hole once we remove this panel. Next step is to remove the upper air intake here. Now you will notice that the clips don't need removing because they were removed as a part of the bumper removal. Next step is to remove the electrical connector to the Louvre control actuator here. You do this by pushing, squeezing and pulling the clip and then removing, using a trim removing tool, take that wearing harness off and that wearing harness off so it can be pulled through this hole once the panel is removed. The next step is to remove the bonnet latch and this bolt here. This can be done from the back side. Once that's done, disconnect it electronically and remove from the car. The next step is to remove the bonnet prop. It goes without saying that once removed, you will have to prop up the bonnet by some means. Once propped, there will be less access to the engine. It doesn't really matter because we're focusing on this panel here. The next step is to remove one 10 mil here, the next 10 mil here. The next step is to remove a further two bolts. These are on the lower side of each, uh, at each side of the intercooler panel. During this next step, you'll be required to move, remove one plastic T30 from there, another one from this side, and then on the underside, remove this 10mm, and then remove this 10mm. This 
supports the bar that runs along the shroud. You see, it's now loose. Once ready to remove, please note that this clip here squeezes to release. Do not force it, it will break. For removing the shroud, on the offside front corner, there is a multi-plug. This multi-plug will need to be disconnected, which will allow the shroud to come away cleanly and easily. Now that the shroud's off, you can see here, I suppose the front end, we now take the shroud over to a, to a stand and begin the modifications and the cuts required to allow the intercooler to be fitted. The first cut will be to remove the louver control arm. We're going to keep the top half but remove the bottom half. First cut is along the middle. Now, to remove the louvers. Next step is to remove the lower louvers. That is done by releasing a clip in the top corner, bottom corner, top corner, sorry, bottom corner, top corner. Now, remove the lower louvers, like that. Just to note, the top louvers will remain active. Lower, lower louvers are now not needed, because we removed them. Next step, turn the shroud over, so it's now, the front is now facing the floor, and we're gonna start preparing to make the second cut. These cuts will include, across the crossbar here, across the crossbar there, and then another one across here, and then across there, and then we will need to retake this fin off, and this fin off. Now the intercooler is removed, please be aware that there may be some dust or debris behind where the intercooler used to sit. I would advise just give this a brush out, or if you've got an air gun, give a blow out, ready for the new intercooler to be fitted. Next step, lifting the new intercooler. Before putting the bolts on, Push, push the hoses on, making sure that you can hear them click and engage both sides. Then, fit 10 mil and the large washer to either side. Now, you may find that this washer does not fit flush. That's perfectly normal. You will tighten down and it will pull the intercooler through. It doesn't need to be mega tight. It'll hold itself in position. The intercooler's been fitted. One 10 mil there with washer. Make sure the hose clips, make sure that clip drops in. Following along, making sure that this gap is the same all the way along. Same again, bolt in there, make sure it's pulled up. As I said before, don't worry if the washer sits like that with the gap, it's absolutely fine. And make sure that this clip on this side is fully engaged. Next step, we'll be lifting the shroud back on. This may take two people. Lifting the shroud in, get the, get the intercooler sat on the inside of the shroud and then try and sit it on the bars here and then loosely fit to the two 10 mils. At that point, the shroud becomes fairly secure and will allow for um, people to try or you to try and get the small rubbers at the bottom aligned with the holes. Next step is align the top clips and squeeze. Align and squeeze. Perfect. Next step is now to refit the air intake panel. This pushes up. 
against the front smash bar connects to the intake for the airbox. Remember, don't put the screws back in just yet, they will come a few steps later. Now we've refitted the, the radar, hooked in at the top and about to screw in with two T30s. Do not adjust this lower torx bit. Now we are going to put the crash bar in reverse order as removal. So it'll be a case of slide it down at the same time. One, two, three, four, 15 mils and two 10 mils either side. Making sure this one's nice and tight. Next step is to fit the lower shroud. This push fit clips in nicely. Um, and then in the process, making sure that we refit the ambient air temperature sensor. This is delicate, so please be careful. Next, before the upper shroud goes in, we fit a one, two, three, four, 10 mils. Then, smash bar, crash bar, plastics, flipping in, making sure they're fully engaged. Upper shroud refitted, push fit, push fit, push fit, push fit. Then making sure that we hook all these rubber surrounds into the plastics on the upper and lower shroud, as you can see there, that was loose. Just pops in like so. So it's now at this point, the intercooler has been fitted, and now ready to refit the bumper. Please remember that upon first initial startup let the car warm up, take it for a drive making sure that you test at full boost to make sure that none of the hoses or means the cooler are leaking. 